simplify x over y minus 2 plus y over x all over x over y minus y over x. This is called a complex fraction or sometimes called a compound fraction because it's got fractions within a larger fraction. And one way to simplify this is to just uh, simplify the numerator, that is get a common denominator here with the y and the x and, and this has a denominator of, of 1, negative 2 over 1, and, and get a fraction in the numerator and then do the same thing in the denominator, combine these fractions, get a common denominator if you need to, and you would need to here, and then you would have uh, combine these and, and you get one fraction, so you have a fraction over a fraction ultimately, and then divide those fractions and you can proceed that way. Another nice way to simplify these complex or compound fractions is what I'm going to show this time, and that's to multiply both the big numerator and the big denominator by the lowest common denominator of all of the mini denominators, or of all of the mini fractions. So in this case, our lowest common denominator among y, 1, and x. Those are the only denominators that we see. The lowest common denominator is xy. And that is, that is uh, what all of the denominators could be built up to if we wanted to. But instead of building those up, I'm actually going to multiply everything by that denominator. And what's going to happen is a bunch of these mini denominators are going to cancel out. And I'm just putting it over 1 here just to, to show that I'm multiplying a fraction by a fraction. But that's not necessary. It's just for teaching purposes here. Now I'm going to multiply this xy times x over y. And I want to show what happens with that over here. You probably can already see it, but let's just show that. x over y times xy. Well, these y's will cancel out. And so you're left with x times x. So I'm going to write that down in the bottom here. x times x, or x squared. All right, negative 2 times xy. Well, that's just negative 2xy. And y over x times xy. Let's just show that I'm multiplying by every one of these terms. y over x times xy. The x's are going to cancel out, and we'll get y squared. So see how we got rid of the, the mini fractions there. So that was nice. That, that is our big denominator that's left. And by the way, you have to multiply both the, the numerator and the denominator of, of this compound fraction, the big big numerator and the big denominator, by this lowest common denominator. So ultimately, what's in red here is just equal to 1. So you can always multiply something by 1. It's just a little manipulation, just like, like when you're um, adding and subtracting uh, smaller fractions. Okay, back to this denominator. Multiply the xy times x over y, and the, the y's will cancel out. And so we'll have uh, x squared and multiply xy times y over x, and the x's cancel out, and, and note this negative sign, so we've got minus a y squared, because again, these x's canceled out. Okay, now we've got a rational expression. We're almost done, but we should factor uh, the numerator and the denominator to see if anything will cancel out, and I, I bet we'll get something to cancel out, because usually the problems are set up that way. This numerator, if you recognized it as a perfect square trinomial, then you're in luck. You're probably going to do this, uh, probably have that already before I even wrote it, x minus y quantity squared, or x minus y times x minus y. If you didn't recognize it as a perfect square trinomial, that's okay. You can see just the reverse of FOIL. Write the, the x's down, because x times x is e equal to x. Write your y's down because you know the, uh, the product of the last two terms will equal uh, this last term, this y squared. And then you think, okay, what can I multiply um, to get 
positive 1, this coefficient of 1 on the y, and what can I add to get negative 2? And that's negative 1 and negative 1. So that's what we did there. The denominator, you can also just uh, foil the, ant, uh, the opposite of foil to factor that, or recognize that as a difference of squares, so that is x plus y times x minus y. And we see that some factors cancel out, the x minus y, and we're left with x minus y over x plus y. So I'll just write that over here, x minus y over x plus y. So we've taken that large complex fraction and simplified it to our final answer.